What's up guys? Venomous RC here. I just want to talk about a build I did. So for a long time everyone's drove a CX24 around and very so often does somebody talk about or end up with a 1 16th style crawler so like like the FMS 6x6s um, uh, the Panda Hobbies 116th Jeep which is what this body is made out of um, this is just an SCX24 on a metal chassis from Amazon and this is was an FMS Toyota Land Cruiser or 116th so this was the old body. It came red, but I painted it blue. Um, there's nothing really wrong with this. But whenever the body was on the chassis. And the motor was there and everything. It, would just, it just... The motor would like resonate inside the shell. And I didn't like it. It was always stupid loud. Nobody wanted to drive RCs around me because it was always loud. So I took it apart and said the heck with it and just let the frame sit for a while, a long time. And um, I just decided to build something out of it, I guess. I don't know. So I guess you could say it would be more scale because on the SCX24s, so like if you had the Jeep body, it's not really a straight axle. Well, not with the worm gear and everything in there, it's not. But this is a legit straight axle. So I guess that's more scale than portal axles, which I like. I took the headlight buckets out because it's I don't I don't like lights. I don't want to put lights in my rigs. This one has lights, but I don't use them. I just up there for looks. Uh, the back, this back part, so this bed part right here, this plastic, is from the FMS 6x6. And it had another part of the cage that bolts in right here, and then it comes up and bolts in right there. And a toolbox that was right here, but I took the toolbox off and used it for another RC. And I took that extra cage off because it adds weight, and I didn't want that. So this was a four-door Jeep body, and I cut off the back doors and then I cut the back like the back end off and then I put the back end in right here as the cap and it's not like a solid fix or anything so I just have double sided tape up and down and then I have it on the top going around the edge and it looks ugly because it's dirty but it's it, I just wanted to build it to see if the concept even looked good or not I left the brake lights. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to use them up there or if I'm just going to put some buckets up under here or something. I also chopped the edges of this because it was catching when I was testing it. I didn't like it. So I just have a zip tie holding the whole, the whole um, body on there. So I connected this to the back of the cage with two bolts so there's one inside and there's one inside and I had to drill holes in my windshield so that I could get the screws up in there without being all cockeyed and stuff when I was under there so I just have the front clip down with this bungee cord from RC four wheel drive that I got at my local hobby shop RC360 shout out to them so the way it's zip tied, the body literally will stand straight up and down with no help. Just just the zip tie. And it is standing straight up and down by itself. I love that so much. So I took this is the original transmission, original drive lines. This is a spur gear from an SCX24 transmission. Then Flip it around, there you go. You see in there. And then there's the SCX24 pinion gear. 
and SCX24 motor, the dynamite 80 turn, I think, or 88 turn, maybe. I never saw fit to take the sticker off this. I run this forever, and it doesn't get hot, doesn't get warm or anything. This is the battery I use. So, it's a 1,000 milliamp, 35C discharge, 2S LiPo, 7.4 volts, 7.4 watts, high-performance LiPo. Um, Urgenex, I guess. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. But yeah, 35C discharge, 1,000 milliamp on this little motor, on this little SCX24 motor, and it doesn't doesn't harm it, doesn't trip it, nothing, it loves it. And then here's the receiver I'm using, or not the receiver, the EOC and receiver combo, my bad. So it's from RC four-wheel drive, the XR, yeah, the XR2 Ultimate ESC slash receiver. Uh, it, it's, it's nothing special, it doesn't have any anything extra for it, so it's just a servo plug, motor plug, a battery plug and an on and off switch and a bind switch and it has many JT JST connectors for the battery and that's what my battery uses too and I can use this on my hobby grade charger which is why I prefer to use these batteries over the uh, little SCX24 batteries like here this has the same style so this is another little battery. So here's a 7.4 volt, 600 milliamp from F FMS. This would generally be what was running here when I had the other body on there and all the FMS electronics. But because of this connector, I've even trimmed it to fit other ESCs. But because of that connector, I can't charge it on my hobby grade charger. So I bought a charger cord that would support JST. And so I have, I use these for my forklift, I use these for my minis, and I use these for my uh, 110 scale crawlers. So they're pretty, pretty versatile. Um, this is the servo from the 6x6. This is not from the Land Cruiser. So I put that in here afterwards. When I started this build, it was just, a, a, I mean, literally just a frame. So it was just, just this metal bar and just this metal bar, and there was nothing on it. I put the axles, the links, the drive lines, the motor, transmission, all this is from the 6x6. I don't I don't remember what happened to my axles and stuff from, from this frame itself, but these are from the same scale RC and from the same company, so they fit phenomenally. And, and the 6x6 is the same frame, they just added another uh, shock tower. So instead of using that, I, I decided to use this because I just, I don't want a 6x6, I want a 4x4, a big 4x4. So this is the back, the middle axle of the 6x6. So it has the, the input coming in from the front and then it has an output right here too, which is just pushed in at the moment. But I could pull it out and technically speaking, attach another drive line and another axle if I ever so pleased, but I, I don't see that happening anytime soon, so. And I just use this bungee cord, and I drill the hole in the center of my body up there, and then it just flips down. Oh, shit. Not bad. Everything's a mess right there. But, you get the idea, right? So, and it's not sitting right it's not close right because of the ESC is all jacked up in there but this is pretty much the idea so money cord pinches it up here stretches down and this is like a grooved support for the frame if my camera will focus see I don't put it in that hole I usually put it in this big slot right here so it can slide around if it needs to but just for demonstration purposes I put it there um, but yeah so uh, I, I don't know. I, I've tested these two against each other, and this will outperform that any day. These are weightless tires. There's no metal underneath. It's all plastic, except for the ball joints and the universal joints in the drive shafts. Those are steel. Um, 
But yeah, it's, it's, I mean, you could technically say it's a stock, like, custom rig, like an OBS rig, I guess. And then this does have upgrades. It has the bumper. It has the hot racing um, sliders. It has metal links. It had metal, a uh, front metal axle, but I used it on something else. So I just put the metal drive line back on there, metal drive line. And then it's got the diff cover, which I should put on the front. And then it's got the top plate for the links, which is aluminum. Uh, aluminum body posts, aluminum uh, shock mounts, front and back. Uh, it's got metal pinion and spur, and I scraped the sticker off that. It isn't actually an older motor before it had that, uh, I think it's like a, like a, volt amperage thing converter on the back they're usually blue but i bought this motor before they started doing that so it doesn't have that um, let's just take the volume off so then i'm using the three channel tactic tr30 tr325 three channel receiver and this is a dual motor control five amp Two to three S E S C E S C. Oh yeah, dual brushed E S C. Two to three S, five amps times ten, so ten amps pretty much. And then I can control two different motors. So I have the extra motor wire taped up right now, and I have plans on converting this to a dual motor S E X twenty four at some point, or even using that E S C in this build and converting this to a dual motor, and just leaving that the way it is. And then. If you look up there, I have my SEX24 Gravedigger diecast monster truck conversion, which does extraordinarily well for how heavy it is. And it has an upgraded motor, if you can see that big can under there. That's a 50 turn motor instead of an 88 turn. Um, but yeah, uh, I just wanted to talk about my project for a minute see if anyone had any interest in it or i don't know see if you guys have built anything like this i'm the only one um got some more stuff to show i got my whole course is all built i got gates set up i got some pretty nifty obstacles like a license plate for my old truck uh got some cones got some wood down there we got a bb lake Back there, there's a gate in there at the moment. We got some trees, some rocks, a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. I'm thinking about calling it the SCX24 killer because I, I, I'm pretty sure we could classify it as an SCX24. I mean, it runs off the same motor, same ESC, same tires. The only difference is the size of my body and I have maybe, maybe, like a quarter inch difference in axle width or axle distance between. So I don't think it's that far off. Let me know what you guys think. <clears throat> That's about it. Venomous out, bro.